You'll have to excuse us because this is our first video, but having spent many hours in lockdown watching videos of Greg and his sprinter build and Humble Road in America, I decided that I'd like to build something that sort of put the two of them together. So we take Greg's lightweight ply and we take Humble Road's 4040 aluminium, which is also very light and very strong. We build a van that was designed for two people, but for bikes and boards and stuff like that. So here it is, a 177 Trendline DSG. So I took a brand spanking new 177 automatic crafter and we painted the front grille. We painted the lower part of it. We added in a front lip spoiler. And then down the sides here, we painted the mirrors in gloss black and silver. We fitted load rated alloy wheels and tires. We color coded the side in and the van came with the orange marker lights. Fitted windows both sides and both sides are openers. And then on the back here, we fitted proper window glass, but there's actually no window behind it. It was just to make the van look nice. On top fitted a black and gray Famia ATS awning. And then to round the back here, also color coded it in. It put in a little black lower spoiler and then a black high spoiler and it came with a factory fitted camera and on the top there you can just see the dab aerial for the internal stereo also at the top here you can see two air vents they're designed to pull in air over the bed because at the front of the van there's an internal external extractor so when it's warm you can just open the air vents and it pulls a nice cold breeze over your top of your bed so the back part of the bed actually folds up to give you access to the garage area. It's trimmed in Golf GTI red tartan. There is a storage both sides of the bed. So you've got storage for clothes and everything else. You have an internal water tank with an internal fill to stop it freezing in the winter. And you have a sight gauge on the water tank so you can see clearly where your water is. There's a set of double sockets here for charging mountain bikes. There's a subwoofer. There's a shower with hot and cold water. And then in this cupboard here, there's a chlorifier, which heats the hot water from the engine as you go along. Storage for chairs. And then at the back here, you've got nice big drawers for storing stuff. And also you have here a shelf that comes out. So, for cooking to stop the smells inside the van you can literally just set your hob up outside here Whoops. cook whatever you want and there's no smell inside the van and it's easy enough it just pops back into its little boxes and goes away again you have another shelf above this cupboard which you can use if you wanted to work on your mountain bikes or whatever. You, ha you have a one tie down point here, but the you could easily fit another one, which will take the front wheel for the mountain bikes. And there's enough room up through the middle of the van there that you could put the longest of boards, maybe even a canoe paddle board or whatever. So you end up with a lot of, a lot of room. One of the things I wanted was the van to be a lot of fun. So in the back, are these two chairs that store beside where the cooker was. And then what you do is you open the van up, you remove the bungee cord to stop the rattling, you remove one pin, and then this aluminium arm folds out. And then with the D-shackle, you fit the hanging chair. And then you do exactly the same to the other one. Remove the pin. You can actually do this from inside the van, but you don't have to be as tall as me. 
and then you can sit outside your van which has an awning over it if you want to do it whilst it's, if it's raining it has an external light just here and there are two speakers that are facing outwards and then when you turn up on site you can literally fall into your hammock and you've got a nice swinging chair and if my feet weren't muddy I could use the other one and make it as a proper hammock so coming into the van you can see that all the carcassing is made out of 4040 aluminium which is very very strong and also lightweight furniture ply and in the cupboards they've been designed so you can put storage boxes one of the shelves is designed to take a microwave oh excuse me the front passenger seat is a captain's chair which swivels and then here there's another passenger seat facing forward both are just about to go off to be trimmed and we'll come in and match the gti tartan that goes through the top of the van and all the lights are all individual individually switchable one of the main things i wanted being tall was a proper size bed so this now is a, this is a double bed and it's two meters long it ha at the back of the van you have the um, little air vents that will let air in at the front of the van here you have your internal external extractor so it'll blow air in or blow air out right in the back corner you can see the little high level lights for reading lights and they have usb charges on you have your storage down both sides of the van and all the lighting is individually switchable so you can turn off the front white lights you can turn off the back white light but the back white light there is for when you're in bed you can get rid of the red lights if you want to and just have the white lights on you can actually change it to whatever mood you you want and then what you can do is you can literally just oh sorry literally just fold your duvet back and then you can just lift your bed up and it will go up on gas struts and again that that's trimmed in the gti tartan so it all matches in the only thing you have to do is you have to remove the headrest when the bed comes down and then that literally just pops in there over here behind this seat there's another little seat there's an area here for storing your covers for the front screens your thermal covers there's a drawer here so you can store stuff in there and then underneath this seat if you lift this up and just move it away you have a Thetford toilet so when you get caught you've actually got your own toilet rather than having to run to the bushes down here we have a 12 and 24 12 and 240 volt fridge you have another drawer which is all on soft clothes under here you have a timbre door which you have your bin and all that side of it in and then in this cupboard here you have your electrics you have main 240 volt in with a battery charger you have a second 92 amp hour battery because there's another 92 amp hour battery at the front and they're they're running in parallel so you end up with 180 amp hours which gives you roughly 90 amp hours you can draw down which will last for such a long time you have your main control panel here so you can turn your water on and off you can turn your fridge on and off you can turn your stereo on from here and you have a, a pioneer dab stereo above here you have a 12 volt television which is which is also an internet television so if you have a mobile dongle you can actually watch netflix in the middle of the woods and then you have the two stereo speakers here for when you're inside the van on the stereo system it has a subwoofer and that is adjusted here and you also have the ability to plug in your iphone to to play music or whatever you wish to do the the van has a diesel heater which is mounted underneath the van so it's very very quiet 
and to operate that you literally press the button once and it comes alive you press the button again and it will start up and the heating works on a scale of one to ten and so far we found that on number one it's very very hot so on number 10 would just be able to go in the deepest darkest winter i'll turn i'll just turn it back off again i apologize for the quality of the video but this is number one and i hope in the future we'll get better and better and better but i hope it's given you some insight in what you can do and for me i'd like to say thank you for greg for his videos because they helped me a lot and humble road they gave me brilliant ideas and i've watched lots of other videos but they're the two that stood out and i'd like to think i've created a crafter that's quite different and um i look forward to your comments please don't be too harsh but it would be nice to hear what you have to say thank you very much